Hi guys, my name is Son and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a review about the new XPS 7390 2-in-1 with the new Intel iSlick chips. So my model is the Full HD version with the i5-135G and we have a 13.5 inch notebook and this time they'll listen to the customers and build in a 16x10 ratio display which looks very nice and is also practical for office work and Dell is claiming that the display can go up to 500 nits but Tess has already shown that it can even go higher for about 550 nits and also Dell finally set the webcam on top the webcam quality is okay so you can use it for Skype conferences but don't expect a very good quality. Next to the camera there is a built-in ambient light sensor which senses the light activities in the background and automatically sets up the brightness of your display. If it annoys you you can also turn it off in the options of Windows. Therefore you just have to go to display and turn it off. The pre-configured sound quality is very bad. If you want to fix it you just need to go on Max Audio. There you have to turn on the details and the bass to 100% and you will notice a significant difference. Yeah, now let's move down to the keyboard. The keyboard is a maglev keyboard of the second generation. Compared to the first generation, this keyboard is much more silent and has a very low hub. It reminds me of the butterfly mechanism keyboard of Apple. And on the top right corner you can see a power button with a built-in fingerprint reader. Compared to the competitors, the fingerprint reader is not as accurate and fast like, for example, Huawei notebooks, but it does its job. As an adverse, I can tell you that you can set up more fingerprints so that it will become more accurate. Under the keyboard, there is the touchpad, which got bigger, but uh, from mechanism, it is still the old touchpad which the other XPS notebooks already have. It's very responsive and it's a precision touchpad. On the left side of the notebook you have a Thunderbolt slot and a SSD slot and on the right side you also have a Thunderbolt slot and a headphone slot. This notebook also has a LED in the front of the notebook which lights up when the battery is charging. I had a XPS 9370 clamshell version in the beginning and at this model it lighted up completely when the battery is charging. So I was kind of confused because at this model it's at the same time a battery indicator which tells you at how much percentage the battery life is and uh, yeah I thought it would be broken in the beginning but it's not the case. The notebook feels very stable. Dell has built in Gorilla Glass 5 and uh, the hinge also feels very stable. You can open it up with one hand, but at one point you need to use two hands because it gets stiffer. Dell made it stiffer at one point so you can uh, prevent screen wobbling while using the touch screen or using the notebook in the tent models or the tablet models. The thin bezels are very nice, so they are just 4mm. The bad side of it is that in tablet models you can accidentally touch the bezels of the notebook and close some tabs. Also if you are in the tablet models, your fingers are touching the keyboard and the touchpad. They are deactivated, but it's still annoying because you can feel something in the back of the notebook. But if you, for example, let the notebook rest in tablet models on the table, it's no problem, it's a very fun 
usage. For the temperature, Dell has built in two fans and a gore chamber, which can handle the heat very well. And in normal usage, the Intel chip only reach up from 40 to about 60 degree. And the fans are not very loud, so it's about 30 decibel. What's also very nice is that you can undervolt with Dell's power manager and you can change the fan behavior of the notebook. Depending on the situation, I can set it up to calm or if I want the notebook to cool down very fast, I can set it up to cooling. Also, you can change the battery charging behavior. For example, you can use the express charging to charge up the battery during one hour to complete 100%. But most of the time I'm using my notebook at home, so in my case it's uh, often connected to the charging cable. The best setup is to set up the charging behavior. So with the, the power manager you can set up, for example, let's say you can let it start charging at 50% and let it stop at 70% and when it reaches 70 percent it stops charging this is very nice for the battery life and it prevents it to age yeah i hope you like my little preview for more questions please comment down below and leave me a like and subscribe thank you